or not get like you kind of touched on a little bit, but two years. I mean, you know, when you start thinking about that second act, is that a team management role? Is it something out of the sport? You, have you given any consideration yet? Well, I don't know if I'm done racing in two years. I just said two years was. I'm, I'm at JRM for two more years. Yeah, uh, but but to be honest with you, um, a lot of people don't know kind of. Um, Outside the racetrack for me, I don't I don't really talk about it a whole lot. But you know, two years ago, um, I bought half the business for my parents um, back at home in Illinois, and so who's um, turned west, all guy performance, you know, selling racing tires, racing parts, we build race cars back at home. Um, spend a lot of time on the phone just because I'm not there and I'm not able to uh, to deal with it. You know, my dad's 76, my mom's 75, and, and they've been in business for 50, over 50 years. And, um, you know, my dad came to me about two years ago and said, what does this look like? And he's like, do you want me to sell it? Do you, is this something you want to be a part of? And I laughed and I said, I just, I guess I assumed that you would want to keep it in the family, you know, and, and you know, I'd buy it from you, whatever. Um, and he's like, why? Well, you know, I don't really know. You have full job, full time job, all of that. So my wife's the one I really feel sorry for because I feel like she spends about thirty or forty hours a week on the phone with my dad talking about business stuff because she's handling a lot of it whenever I can't. But um, for me, I, I I couldn't imagine anybody else's name on the door after watching my parents. You know, go from I remember. Um, I I mean. Obviously, I'm not 50, right? But I remember from when I was a kid, the stuff that we did and the, the terrible trucks that we used to have. I mean, I remember there was an old Freightliner cab over semi that I rode thousands and thousands of miles in uh, with my dad going to different racetracks or going to, to Hoosier to pick up tires. And and um, there's a picture on his wall of that truck, right? And it means a lot. So for me, like that's that's kind of the direction that I feel like I'm, I'm headed. I've, I've spent a lot of time with that. Um, I don't know that I'll ever be able to walk away from the sport, right? I've, I've been lucky enough to have a lot of great teammates come through the doors at Junior Sports, and really everywhere that I've gone, I've had the you know opportunity to, to help mentor some of those drivers more than others. Um, but I really enjoy that role, and, and it's something that, you know, I came into the sport, I, I had people tell me that find the people that will help you and, and take all the advice they'll give you. and. You know, I had people that fed into me in my career when I was younger, and um, there were others that wouldn't, but there were some that were, and, and I would never be here today if it wasn't for those that did. And I just feel like, I'm, you know, all of our job is to, to make the sport a better place when we leave it than where we found it. And so that's an option, and that's something that I would definitely be open to, but um, it's hard. It's hard when you're racing against people, though, right? Um, I think sometimes everybody keeps you a little bit of an arm distance when you're helping people when you're racing with them because they don't ever really know how truthful you are. But um, for me, I've always felt like you open the book up and, and you tell them everything because at the end of the day, um, as we've talked about already, you know, the technology is, is going to surpass everything that I do. Um, if I can help somebody and they can be better, you know, ultimately it helps me out in the, in the long run and, and um, I feel good about it.